Have you ever listened to that one song on repeat so many times because of the rhythm? Or just because it has some sort of connection with how you're feeling? Well, I didn't. Until I was in fifth grade. I would listen to the same five songs every day while going to school or at home. With time, that changed. I found different artists and different songs that explain my feelings and surroundings. I am most certainly not the only one, right? To me and to millions of people around the world, music gave us the ability to connect with others and express our feelings. In my case, music was the only thing I found comforting during the darkest moments of my life. Unexpected turns, heartbreaks, and so many other factors just changed my life. Anxiety, PTSD, early symptoms of depression, and horrible headaches took over me, and my only solution at the time was listening to music. Thankfully, even though I'm still getting these issues, I'm getting treated and going to therapy. I have found music as a way to calm myself down and think differently, as well as to not only feel the rhythm and beat in the song, but to understand the meaning and story behind it. It has helped me become a better listener and observer as well. According to many studies found online, depending on what genre or artist you listen to, it has been proven to set your mood for the next few hours. Take for example these two songs, Monster by Shawn Mendes or Midnight by James Arthur. These two songs could give us a nostalgic yet depressing moment. We tend to put out different songs depending on how we're feeling. For example, we put music like Wally Streams by Taylor Swift or Never Be the Same by Camila Cabello when feeling romantic, or Young Blood by Five Seconds of Summer, or How You Love Somebody by White Dolly, when we're feeling like a rush out of the moment. About 34.8 million adolescents from the ages 0 to 17 suffer some sort of trauma in the U.S. Every one in five children suffer a mental illness from the ages 12 to 18. Now, why am I stating these facts? Well, from a young age, so many people around the world have some sort of problem or conflict that affects them during their ages of growth. It defines a person's attitude and reaction to different situations in life. Everyone has different reactions. Um, some can be diagnosed with anxiety, depression, or feeling mentally and emotionally great, while others have something easily forgotten. According to many articles and studies online, Listening to sad music is completely fine and has been proven to take some pain away. However, listening to only sad music repetitively and constantly will make you a more depressed person and can cause your attitudes to change to people and may affect your current relationships. As someone who listens to music every day, I have experienced these problems. I have found music as a form of calming myself down. I have connected with dozens of songs to a point where I don't take off my headphones for hours. The main point of all of this is that there are, not, there are other ways to connect with people, not only through small talk, but through music. And most importantly, you are not alone. Thank you.